Hello everybody, this is Jesse. Installing NCPA on Windows is a pretty straightforward procedure, and I'm just here to walk you through a little bit of it just in case there's some confusion. The first thing you want to do is you want to find the NCPA 1.8.0 installation documentation. It should be at assets.nagios.com. Click on the link, and it'll bring up a tutorial about installing NCPA on Windows. So that's pretty straightforward. First thing we do is click on this uh, installer link and press save file. Once the file has been saved, we can go ahead and execute it, agree to the terms and conditions, and specify a token. This token is used to access the API of NCPA, which is how Nagios XI will talk to NCPA through this, uh, this API token. So I'm just going to use welcome as the API token and press next. We'll press install. And that's it. So NCPA has been installed. And let's just check on our services quick to make sure that it is indeed running. So let's look for NCPA. And you can see that it started. What we're looking for is the NCPA listener. OK, so that is good to go. And that is all there is to installing NCPA on Windows. So something else that I want to show you kind of quickly is how to browse around on the API using NCPA. So when you install NCPA on Windows or Linux, it automatically installs a web GUI interface that comes that's packaged with the NCPA client. So what we have to do is we have to browse a localhost, which is this machine, on the NCPA port, which I can't remember right now, which is why we have this documentation pulled up. So let's look for, let's just do a search for port. 5693 it looks like. So let's try 5693, and it's likely HTTPS, so let's give that a try. There we go. And we can go ahead and add an exception for this website. So you can see this is the NCPA web interface, and we'll use the token that we entered on the previous installation screen to sign in. So you, here you can see the agent uptime, the version of the agent, the uh, some processor and version information, the system, the release. Uh, the most important piece, I mean, there, there are a couple of cool things that you can see, you know, top processes, you can see some graphs. Uh, dashboard of CPU, disks, and network interfaces as well. Very useful. Uh, those are all real time. But the most important piece is the API. So here we have an, an NCPA API that we're uh, hitting right now. Let's take a look at raw data. So you can see this is all of the, this is effectively the API tree. So any portion of this tree that's next level down, you can actually uh, tunnel into. So say we want to go to processes, you can go to API slash processes. Look at the raw data. And here are all of the processes running on the Windows box. So this can be uh, pretty useful, and it shows you, you know, in detail which processes are running. And of course, you can tunnel down into uh, any of these things that you'd like to via the API. And this is how you'd structure your API calls from the Nagios XI side of things. Um, th that's just kind of what I wanted to show you, the web GUI. I won't go too much into the API in this video. But that is, uh, that is the NCPA API, that's the agent installation, and that is the web GUI. Thank you. If you have any questions about that process, please feel free to reach out to us at the support forum. We're always at support.nagios.com forum. Otherwise, feel free to check out our related content at the YouTube channel. Thanks.